Okay, question nine here. Uh, we're given a mirror line and a shape. Reflect the shaded shape in the mirror line. I'm always going to do it by points. That point there, if I reflect it in the mirror line, will stay on the line. This point there is two away from the line, so it'd be two away here. This is two away, so it'd be two away here. And all I've got to do is then join up these dots. And there's my reflection done. Here is a pattern made with squares. So we've got a shape here with squares. Shade one square to make the black and white pattern with only one line of symmetry. So we only want one line of symmetry here. Now, I think you're invited to colour that in, aren't you? It feels like the right thing to do to colour that in. But that then would have, uh, would it have symmetry there? Yes, it would have symmetry there. And would it have symmetry there? Yes, it would have. Uh, no, it wouldn't have symmetry there, actually. It would not have symmetry there because these two aren't coloured in. So actually, it seems that that is a perfect one to shade in there so that we've got one line of symmetry. Here is another pattern made with squares. Shade three more squares to make a pattern with rotational symmetry of order two. Now remember what that means, the rotational symmetry of order 2 means that if I twist the sh shape around it will fit inside itself during the 360 degree twist one time and then twice when it gets back to itself. So this shape here must, um, when I twist it around, must look like that shape up there. So what I'm going to do is I have to shade in three more squares to make this have that symmetry. So if I shade in that there that's got three high and that's got three. Let's shade in that one there and let's shade in that one there. Okay, so that's three, that's three, that's three, that's three. Hopefully that should work, let's test it. You can use tracing paper in the exam. So I'm gonna group those together and I'm gonna try and twist it around. So it fits, not there, but it fits there perfectly and it fits when it gets back to itself. So that now has, um, the perfect um, rotational symmetry of order two and we're done.